Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. Let's start today's show off with an affirmation for the collective. Dear universe, dear creator, dear spirit guides, dear universe, please give us the collective an affirmation for this Wednesday, an affirmation just for us. We get new bonds. New bonds. Healthy relationships are forthcoming in my near future. When I least expect it, I will welcome new flourishing people into my life. I manifest positive meetings, conversations, and introductions and relinquish this control to the universe. Namaste. Namaste. The universe is asking us to prepare ourselves to welcome in healthy new people into our lives. Let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for today as well. Dear universe creator, spirit guides, please give us an oracle to meditate on this day. An oracle just for the collective, just for us. Okay, we get safe travel. Number 30. All right. Look at this card, y'all. Safe travel, a trip or journey, or even a single piece of scenery is a blessing. Meditate on this before you start a new adventure, move to a new home, or take a trip. The symbol is safe passage. The North Valley Cancun and Santa Fe Valleys are land or sea. And during, sorry, astral travel. So this sigil, the north, the south, the east, and the west, arrows at a cross point, is the sigil for safe travel. If you would like to move into a new home, draw this sigil and meditate on it. Namaste, y'all. All right. All right. We have some fantastic questions today. So let's go ahead and jump right in to this, okay? Y'all remember, okay? This is for entertainment purposes only because I can't be getting sued by these rich muckety mutts. I ain't, I ain't got no money. All right, here we go. My first question is from Denny. Situated over here. And Denny would like to know, this is a serious question, okay? Denny would like to know, is disease X the next pandemic that is on the horizon? Is disease X? I haven't even heard of this, but then you guys know I don't watch television, so I guess I wouldn't have heard about it. But I didn't look it up either, so we're going to ask Tara, is disease X? The next pan pandemic on the horizon, Tara, yes or no? We get death and the ten of swords. There's a lot of money. I'm going to pull them off. Benny, disease X is going to be problematic. Is it going to be the next the thing that causes the next pandemic, no. It is going to be a disease that is going to get out of control, okay? But it is not going to be the infection that causes the next pandemic. Disease X, though, will cause a lot of people to be unalive, okay? So disease X is going to cost a whole lot of nations a lot of money 
but it is not the next pandemic, but it is going to be a serious uh, infection in our society. All right. My next question is from Juanita M. Juanita M. would like to know, is Putin behind the attack on Israel? Is Putin behind the attack on Israel? This is an excellent question. Is Putin behind the attack on Israel? Tarot, creator, universe, spirit guides, please answer this question. Is Vladimir behind the Hamas attack in Israel? Yes or no? Here we go. Oh my goodness, guys. The first card out we get is justice and incoming and the wheel of fortune. The answer is yes. Um, and it's not just Vlad. I want to say Vlad is one of the players in what is going on in Israel, okay? So here's our answer. Here is our answer. We get the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Karma card, but we got heartbreak and justice. What is happening in uh, Israel is a, retali a retaliation for something that we have no idea about what's coming, what's going on. There, these are incoming munitions, bombs, uh, uh, missiles just raining down on Israel. But the answer is yes. And we as a collective are going to be made to see the world in a different light. We are going to see the workings of very evil men doing horrible things to civilians. Understand, when they bomb neighborhoods, they're killing people who have nothing to do with politics, war is hell. War makes no sense because the people who want to have war never are in it. The heads of state never fight the wars that they create. It is our sons and daughters, our children, our husbands and wives that go to die for some rich man sitting behind a desk having a dispute against another rich man sitting behind a desk. Understand what war is. War solves no problems. It creates tons of problems. All it does is unalive innocent people. And the people who start the wars walk away scot-free, whether their country wins or loses. War is the worst thing that we could ever be under because it serves no purpose. There we go. All right. All right. Woo, that one got me a little bit heated. My next question is from Angie D. Angie D, this is a great question, Angie. Angie D asks, when readers say the government knows or has implemented something to harm citizens, who are we speaking of? Um, Angie B doesn't think that the whole government itself could be corrupt. And you're right, Angie D, because the government is made up of a whole lot of moving parts. Made up, first and foremost, a whole bunch of people. Okay? Now, when I say the government is corrupt, the government is corrupt. When I tell you don't trust the government as far as you can throw it, I mean don't trust the government as far as you can throw it. And when I say who in, in the government is corrupt, I'm going to tell you exactly that. Our government is ran, and I'm going to say this again for entertainment purposes only, by the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and the point, 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 zero, 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 one percent of the wealthiest muckety-mucks in the world. They, in turn, buy politicians, specifically judges, congresspeople, and senators. Why is this important? Because the Congress is 
the purse strings of the nation. If people in Congress are compromised, if they have been bought by lobbyists and are working on behalf of another entity, that makes them a very dangerous person, especially when their vote for or against something can determine whether we as the collective receive needed benefits. So the Congress has been holding the purse hostage. The, the other evil entity is the Senate. The Senate is responsible, and I hope I didn't get these backwards. One is about making the laws. One is about the purse strings. And this is who is running the country because the one who is paying for everything can determine where money goes. Whether, whether poor people starve to death, whether children get free lunch at school or get to eat at all, okay? Our government is ran. The president is only the CEO of this company that we call the United States of America because it is not a sovereign nation. It is a company. It is ran by men. Joe Biden is just the figurehead in charge. He can be removed at any time. His, sen his term, and I was right when I said sentence, is only four years at a time, which means in only it, it, that each CEO only has four years to make or break something. But the, they are under the current and under the control and at the mercy of the Senate and the Congress. And behind them, we've got the, uh, the judicial. So how government is evil is who is running each, each branch of government and who these people are actually answering to. I hope that answers your question, Angie. All right. My next question is from Cruising PC. Cruising, Cruising PC says North Carolina legislators gain new investigative authority, which cre uh, creates a secret police force. Any person or organization that receives state funds would lose basically their first and fourth amendment rights, okay? This is the right to, for, for the first amendment is your, for your freedom of speech. The fourth amendment is your freedom from undue um, governmental interference. What the North Carolina legislate, legislature has done has basically given them, has created a Gestapo, a secret police force. That means if you are a welfare recipient or you receive any types of grants or funds from the government, state or federal, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, that these people can without warrant come into your house, your business, arrest you, hold you, detain you, go through your property, and you have no recourse. Cruising PC. Um, this is basically creating uh, a police state in North Carolina. The This is exactly what Nazi, what Nazi Germany did, okay? When they created the SS, that was the secret police that basically went around and said, oh, well, if we think you're Jewish, we ain't even got to prove enough. You got a Jewish last name. If you look Jewish, we are going to we are going to hold you, take your house, take your property, and if you don't come willingly, we're going to beat you or even kill you, and we're going to take you, remove you, put you in a whole different place, separate you from your children, from your husband, from your family. And then we're going to start systematically killing them. That is exactly what happened 
in Germany. Okay? This is going on in the United States. This is not a reach. These people are doing this. Because it's cyclical. Okay? If we don't break the cycle, we are forced to repeat it. A lot of y'all need to read about old Adolf. Okay? A lot of y'all really need to understand and know the story of him so you can see the parallels between Adolf and Donnie Dump Truck. Adolf was ate up with a whole bunch of crimes too. Got sentenced to prison. But the people who were all pro Adolf, just like our Congress and Senate, who were saying, nah, he didn't do anything wrong. You guys are just blowing everything all out of proportion. Adolf went to prison. Oh, for a very short time, because the people who were on his side just knew that it was a bad idea to put this charismatic fellow in the pokey. So they gave him the shortest sentence possible. This man should have spent the rest of his life in prison. But no, his cronies got him a very, very short sentence. He got out and went on to destroy the world in the 1940s, causing World War II, unaliving hundreds of thousands of people, destabilizing the whole planet. And we've got the same thing happening again, okay? So, getting back to cruising PCs, question. See, now that you guys are aware of this, now, now this is this is the time for you to change your mindset. Okay? Will this power given to the New York North Carolina legislature will this permission be overturned? Will this secret police force be overturned? Yes or no? Carol, please answer this question. First card out. We get old Donnie boy. Front and center. And we got temperance. Everything being out of balance. And we've got people walking away from bad leadership. The answer, cruising PC, is yes. The United States ain't going to take kindly to the Gestapo being in America. This is... Once people understand what this legislature is, yes, it will be overturned. Guys, they are coming after all of us. Your skin color, if you are not this color, you are not safe anymore because the classist, the classism, because it, it's, it's gone beyond. It's gone beyond. We are in the days of... We need to find ourselves. We need to fix ourselves. Everything that is going on is about the change in our consciousness. And what we are seeing, all this destruction and upheaval, is the collapse of this system of bondage that we have been existing in for the last thousand years. This is the breaking. This is the breaking of the old system of control. And when you break down systems of control, you are going to have chaos because the powers that be don't want to relinquish their power and authority. So they will double down, tighten the screws, cause immense pain and suffering to maintain power. And that is where, that's where we are in the story right now. All right. My next question is from Sharon Y. Sharon Y. 
if this is a personal question, would like to know who met her baby sister when she passed. And Sharon, tell me, please tell me, is this Bubbles that we're talking about? Because I want to say her name has been ping-ponging in my head since I have read your question a couple of days ago, okay? So I kind of feel like Bubbles, if, if this is the sister that passed, if Bubbles is the sister that passed, then definitely she, um, well, she has a message for you, number one, but you wanted to know who met her. Who met Bubbles? Who met you when you, when you crossed over? I want to say it's a great aunt, maybe one of your mother's or father's sisters was there to meet your sister when she crossed over. It, it's a woman, a woman, and, and if she wasn't an old woman, she was older, but not elderly. I want to say somebody maybe in their 50s, maybe 60s, but not old, not ancient, not elderly, my age. So I see an aunt. It may be your father's sister or your mother's sister that met your baby sister when she crossed over. There you go. And please hit me on, hit me up on email or text and let me know if this, this is bubbles we're talking about. The, the second question from Sharon. Sharon says, Sharon has a piercing, has had a piercing for over two years. It has now become infected. Sharon wants to know, will it heal properly? And does her little sister know how important the piercing is to her since they started this tradition together? of getting these piercings. So first question first, Sharon, will your piercing infection heal and be resolved? Will your piercing infection heal and be resolved? Yes or no? Here we go. Yes, Sharon, your piercing will heal. And does your sister understand how important the piercing are to you? Yes, you got a yes on both of these. I'm going to read both of the cards. On the first one, on the healing card, you get abundance. <clears throat> Fertility, prosperity, sensuality, responsibility, creativity, wealth, common sense, nurturance, someone concerned with the welfare of others, a capable woman who is both a mother and a businesswoman. I believe this is you sharing and i'm feeling um try this on your on your infected ear sharing take some ash cigarette ash um just some ash mix it with a little water um a little bit of alcohol and put that on your uh piercing and see if that doesn't help to uh help your infection in there. Just alcohol, water, and a little ash, and just make yourself a little salve to put over the infected part of the piercing and see if that helps you. Second part of your question was about your sister. Does she understand um, how important your tradition are to you? And the answer to that was yes. And there's a message here. The universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. And this card reads, hope, recognition, and this is the star, okay? Inspiration, creativity, calm, commitment, renewal, serenity, spirituality, healing, positivity, faith healing, and rejuvenation. I hope that answers your question, Sharon. My next question. Is Robert RFK, RFK, who is he serious 
about running for president? Is RFK serious about running for president? I listened to about oh, 15 seconds of this dude last night. I could not even listen to his voice. Number one, I think this dude is seriously ill, um, physically um, and definitely mentally. But there is a definite illness going on. His voice, just his voice was so off-putting to me. It was almost like nails on a chalkboard. But let's let's ask Carol this question. Carol, please tell us, is Robert Kennedy, what is he, is this a serious bid for the presidency of the United States? Yes or no? We, the first card out we get is a big old yes. We got three yeses. But the devil is in the details because this is the final outcome. Yes, Robert Kennedy is really running for president. And this is why I got to say this man is mentally ill. But this man is also um, a destabilizer, okay? What he is doing is to, what he is, what his plan is, his plan is not going to work because there aren't going to be a whole bunch of people running against Kamala and Joe, okay? First things first. The Republicans are going to back the president. So Kennedy's running as an independent. He wants to try to split the ticket. It's not going to work. He's going to, he has his following. He has his following of cray craze, okay? And understand the Kennedys. His whole family were bastions of democracy, of democratic principles. You have a name, a name, RFK, one of the biggest names, named after uh, Robert Fitzgerald Kennedy. You know, arguably one of the best presidents that we had, one of the bravest presidents that we have, one of the presidents who was actually trying to fix what was broken in America, and they killed him for it. This man is completely on the other side of everything that his family was about. Guys, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to say this for entertainment purposes only. I see uh, RFK. Um, he is not long for this world uh, for entertainment purposes only, but I just got that revelation. This man is seriously not healthy. He is not well. There is something seriously going on in his lungs, in his chest, in this area that is affecting his breathing um, for entertainment purposes only. But I kind of see this man not being here very long. Okay. But yes, um, RFK is serious about his run, his bid for the presidency. And he is doing this based on his name because he knows he will get a certain amount of votes just because of what his name is. People won't even listen to what he's saying. They will only vote because of that powerful, powerful name that he is wearing. But he is a destabilizer. But yes, he is serious about his bid for president. My next question is from Soul Shine. Soul Shine, this is a great question. Soul Shine asks, what can we do to ground and center ourselves? And guys, I talk about grounding and centering because it is so important right now. We need to ground because we are electrical beings, okay? The light uh, codes that we are receiving is pure power, pure electricity. And everything that has electricity needs to ground. The reason that we need to ground is so that we can contain our charge and that it does not fly off and hurt people randomly. Okay, so that third little plug on your cord is for. That's a grounding plug so that in the event of a surge, let's say 
a big solar storm that everything in the house doesn't just explode. That grounding cord attaches it to the earth so that the earth can draw in that electricity. It is important for us to ground, for our mental, spiritual, and physical selves to be in contact with the earth, with our feet, our hands, our behinds, okay? The earth, the sphere that we dwell on is also a living entity, is also operated by electricity. All of this power is coming from the sun. It is in and around us at all times, in the daytime and at night. So grounding and centering ourselves puts us in a position to where we can receive all of the codes and energy that is coming to us from the cosmos and to be able to transmute that energy into things that we need for the human body experience. Grounding and centering yourself is a way to protect yourself, to put yourself in alignment, in frequency with Gaia, the earth, the sun, the moon, and the ether, okay? I hope that was a satisfactory explanation of why it is important for us to ground, okay? And what grounding is. My next question from Soul Shine is about her daughter. This is a personal question about Soul Shine's daughter. Will Soul Shine asks, will my daughter get enough financial aid and scholarships to finish her last year of college? Universe Creator Spirit Guides, please answer this question for Soul Shine. Will her daughter receive enough financial aid and scholarships to finish her last year of college? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Um, and I'm going to read this card to you. She gets the chariot. And there's your yes. Got cancer in it. Um, the, the symbol uh, for cancer. No obstacles will stop me now. That is the message for your daughter. Victory, overcoming obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work, and focus. Congratulations to your daughter. She has worked her hind end off to get to where she is. Yes, she will get the necessary finances to complete her education. All right. My next question is from At Home with Nicole. Personal question from At Home with Nicole. Nicole is asking, Oh, ain't nobody got time for that. Here we go. Um, at home with Nicole is asking, will I ever get a new house? She's got a couple of questions. We're going to answer them one at a time. Universe creator, spirit guides at home with Nicole would like to know, will she ever, oh, get a new house? I am so sorry. At home with Nicole, but two cards dropped out from you and both of them have a no on on the card. So at this time, no, and you got rest and anxiety. I'll read these cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm so sorry. Um you got a negative answer. The first card is fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed, mental overload, needing solitude, relaxation, rest, peace and quiet sanctuary, meditation, regrouping, healing, hospitalization, introspection, and planning for the future. At home with Nicole, I am kind of feeling this very powerfully. Please, this rest card is so important. Please check your health. The universe is screaming at you. 
You need to slow down. Take care of yourself. There is something in your life, in your health, that you are not paying attention to. If you continue to not pay attention to it, this is going to stop you. So please um, go to the doctor. Get a whole well woman um, uh, checkup, mammogram, blood work, everything. And if you already know that you're ill, then please, you must do something about it. It's not going to just go away on its own. You need medical intervention. The second card you get is anxiety. This one says fear, anxiety, terror, negativity, deep unhappiness, stress, burden, overwhelmed, at breaking point, inability to cope or face life, mental anguish, guilt, regret, remorse, focusing on the past or subject of gossip. Put down all things that are plaguing you. You're carrying around way too much. And there's something that is causing you a whole lot of fear in your life. That word is on both of these cards. Deal with the things that are plaguing you, that have you overwhelmed. Step away from it. Set it down and let it go. It is weighing on your health. Ooh. The second part of the question for At Home with Nicole is, Nicole would like to know, are my grandparents proud of me? And I don't know why I want to cry just reading that question. Oh, universe creator, spirit guides, please answer this question for Nicole. Are Nicole, Nicole, if your grandparents, Nicole's grandparents, please. Are you, please, are you proud of what your grandchild has accomplished? And I feel, I want to say, I feel like you are so, yes, Nicole, yes, they are. And the word that is coming to me is tenacity. You are, you do not quit. And yes, your grandparents are proud of you. And you get the abundance card. There's your answer right there. Let me read this. Fertility, prosperity, sensuality, responsibility, creativity, wealth, common sense. There it is. Your grandparents are very proud of you. They are proud that you listen and you listen to the lessons that they taught you. Nurturance, someone concerned with the welfare of others, a capable woman who is both a woman, a mother, and a businesswoman. Yes, your grandparents are proud of you. And the last question for At Home with Nicole is, she would like to know what's the next vacation for her and her hub hubby. What, what's the next vacation for her and her hubby? And we get the chariot. It says, no obstacle will stop me now. There you go. This is movement. Victory, overcoming obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work, and focus. So... You want to know where you should go on vacation? Let me look at this card closely. No? Huh? I don't know where you should go on vacation since the tarot card ain't, ain't saying like Orlando or Tampa or something. But I am going to tell you, definitely plan on and take a vacation. And go somewhere you've never gone before. See something you've never seen before. The universe is with you. So no obstacles can stop you. So whatever you've been dreaming of, do it. My next question, personal question, is from Shay Shay. Shay Shay would like to know, will her brother receive his VA uh, award in before the end of 2023. Will Shay Shay's brother receive his VA award 
before the end, these cards are jumping over here before the end of 2023. Yes or no? Here we go. Yes, Shay Shay. Get apathy though. So if there's something that he needs to be working on, some new, loose ends. That might be what's uh, slow, keeping things slowed down. Listen to these words and uh, ask him. Regret, refusing offers, missed opportunities, stagnation, disillusion, focusing on the negative, self-absorption, depression, boredom, nostalgia, frustration, weariness, meditation, daydreaming and fantasizing. So I feel like it's just, this is a time thing with the VA. So this is time and the frustration is how long it takes for them to do what they're supposed to do. The answer is yes, he will get his award from the VA. Um, but please tell him to make sure that he's opening all his mail and returning things that need to be signed off on and answered. Part of the delay is because there's missed documents. All right. Here we go. My last question, y'all. Last question. So before I get to this last question, I'm going to I'm going to ask y'all, please, if you have questions, personal or uh, uh, political about your favorite celebrities, please drop them in the comment section below this or any of my videos. I will get it on my um, app and I will be able to write your question now. So please, if you have any questions that you would like an answer to live on the air, please go ahead and drop that in the comment section below. Okay. And guys, um, I love answering these questions for you. I love giving everybody their little mini readings, but I do do full readings. Hit me up at PsychicTanya9 at gmail.com if you would like to have your own personal reading with me. I do 15-minute, 30-minute, and one-hour readings. PsychicTanya9 at gmail.com. And if you would like to support this channel, please hit me up um, uh, uh, with a super chat or a super thanks on, uh, below the video or hit me up on PayPal or Cash App, okay? Um, all my information is in the description below the video. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. Last question from Mary Mary. Did 45 make a big deal about sending the ICE agents in to grab immigrants at work in slaughterhouses um, to ship them back to Mexico so that the uh, Republicans won't believe that they are the ones who are shipping the migrants to the blue cities? Now, Mary Mary is talking about what happened I believe this was in 2020. Um, it was either 2019 or 2020. It was at it was near the end of old Donnie Duck Truck's uh, <clears throat> term. He sent ICE in to slaughterhouses and rounded up all of the um, migrants who were undocumented. Children, their children were at school and at daycare, rounded all of these people up and put them in prison. This was a heinous act. This was a whole lot of children got stolen for entertainment purposes only. Guys, the United States has a great big problem with uh, human trafficking. I'm going to just put that right there. This country is terrible for human trafficking. And the and, and and there's a the higher you go, the guiltier they are. This is intrinsic in our government. We've got people in our Senate who are involved and, and in our Congress who are involved in human trafficking. And we know about it. Matt Gates 
taking children across state lines to have sex with them. Okay? These are the Repu this is the Republican Party that we're talking about. So, yes or no? Uh, did, did Dottie make a big deal about him removing the immigrants to give them plausible deniability about what is going on now? And what I am feeling, Mary Mary, is that the two really aren't even connected, but they are. But here, let's go ahead and ask, yes or no? Republicans, uh, we got stealing, getting away with it. Yes, yes, Mary, yes. They, this is the whole bait and switch. They want everybody to believe that they are so anti-immigrant that they would never be, I mean, because this is what they say about the migrants, that the, that, that the migrants are the only ones that cause trouble in America. Oh, no, not the Ku Klux Klan, not the white supremacists, not the, not, not all the people who are actually doing this, not the freaking Republicans who refuse to protect our children by passing sane gun law. No, they want you to believe that little Maria coming over here with her three babies from Mexico is the reason for all of your problems. Yes, Mary Mary. Donnie, this was a big bait and switch. Everything that they are doing is showing the heinousness, the criminality of who these people are, okay? Ugh, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, all right. Okay, we'll talk about this weather now. These earthquakes that are hitting Afghanistan and all parts everywhere, this is the earth movement that I have been uh, talking about. This is not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, again, I, I see Mount St. Helens is going to erupt before um, Yellowstone, but this earth movement is coming. It's either going to be uh, Mount St. Helens or Mount Rainier. Uh, Washington is going to have a volcanic eruption um, at some point here in the near future, okay? The earthquakes that we are uh, experiencing right now are going to get more and more intense. On Saturday, the portal will open. On Saturday, the solar portal is going to open. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to exit this plane of existence. A lot. It will be because of natural disasters. It will be because of war. It will be because of famine. We're at that part of the story. Again, there's nothing to be afraid of. Absolutely nothing. What you have to do to make it through these times is literally go inside here. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing, thinking, or saying, and fix yourself. Change your own mindset. Let go of things that don't serve you. If it ain't yours, don't pick it up. Don't play with it. Leave it alone. Problems that aren't yours, leave them alone. Turn off the news. Turn it off. Boycott it. Because the people who are stuck in the news cycle, the people who are afraid and are clinging to the words of these people who only want to keep them in fear will not be able to vibrate high enough to escape what the talking heads are telling you is coming. Your vibration and frequency are so important at this time. Meditate. Know thyself. 
put down things that have no purpose in your life. Know what you want out of life. It is time to be creating the next phase. Meditate, focus, be able to see your life the way that you desire it to be. That's what we're supposed to be working on. And that is thought. This is mind, mental. Go inside. Stop worrying about what your neighbors are doing and start worrying about what you should be doing or have not done to ensure that you are elevating your own self, okay? All right, so the rest of the weather, again, I keep seeing this storm that has not materialized yet. I see a rainstorm for the freaking ages and it has not materialized. So I'm going to keep warning um, uh, Southern Washington, you, uh, Oregon and Northern California to be, be, stay prepared for a big water event, a flooding event. Um, I see it. It has not materialized. So be prepared for this. I pray I'm wrong, but I see lots of water. It's going to cause flooding events in uh, southern Washington, Oregon, coastal Oregon, and northern California. Just coming straight down that coast. Stay ready. On the east coast, we've still got this moving weather. we got this big blob going across the center of the United States. It is going to cause all kinds of of weather. We got cold air, warm air, Indian summers here and there, and we are going to have some big, big old storm. So there's going to be snow and frostings um, in the northern part of the United States and Canada. Canada, y'all get ready. It is going to get cold quickly. I mean, every morning is going to be colder than the morning before and prepare for an early snow. Even in Vancouver, where y'all don't usually get some snow, express, expect for there to be some light dustings and some ice to form coming off that cold, cold water. All right. Um, over here on the East Coast, y'all stay ready because y'all got a bunch of rainstorms coming as well. If it ain't rain, it's snow. It's, per it's precipitation. So there's going to be a lot of wind. This is where everybody needs to stay prepared because there are going to be rip currents. And I'm saying up here by North and South Carolina on the coastal area, there's going to be storms that are coming through that are going to cause rip currents um, in North and South Carolina. So if you are at the beach, on the beach, be careful in the water. The next few days, there will be rip currents that can be deadly, okay? And stay ready. We are still, there are still propensities to have damage from hurricane weather, even though we're all the way in October. In the Gulf, y'all stay ready. Texas, Louisiana, um, um, Florida, uh, Georgia, and and Mississippi, y'all all stay ready down there. That water can rise and cause flooding. And that's what I'm seeing is uh, sea levels rising, um, causing flooding on beaches. Stay prepared. Listen to your meteorologist. And if you are in floodplains, keep your car gassed up. Keep a emergency go kit in there. So if you need to get out and get to higher ground, you can. All right, y'all. All right. If you are still here, let's go ahead and prepare for the Reiki prayer. Inhale and exhale. Cleanse your system. Set your personal intention for this day. My intention is to be truthful and honest in myself 
to stand in my own power and to be good to myself so that I can be good to others. All right, here we go. Just for today, I let go of anger. I let go of worry. I am grateful. I work on myself and I am kind to all living things. I love you. I love you. I love you. Namaste, y'all. Happy Wednesday.